Hey there, welcome back to Dr. Solar channel where we talk about health and wellness. This is Dr. Fatima and today we are going to talk about the great architecture of our bodies, our bones. Our bones are the scaffolding that holds us up and lets us move about. But what if this sturdy structure starts to weaken and those firm bones turn into brittle chocks? That is what we call osteoporosis and today we are going to cover everything about it. So sit back, relax and let's dive into it. Okay, firstly, let me break it down. Osteo means bone and porosis means porous. So osteoporosis is when our strong bones turn porous and brittle, so fragile that even a simple sneeze could cause a fracture. Picture a honeycomb. When you're healthy, this honeycomb, or in this case your bone, is nice and dense. But when osteoporosis creeps in, the holes in this honeycomb get larger and the overall structure gets weaker. But don't worry, there is a lot that we can do to prevent and treat osteoporosis. Let's get to some top tips. First up, the dynamic duo of bone health, calcium and vitamin D. Calcium is the bricks of your bone house and vitamin D is the mason that helps set them together. Studies showed that getting enough calcium and vitamin D can slow down the bone loss process and lower the risk of fractures. So load up on calcium-rich foods like dairy products, broccoli, and almonds, and get the sunshine or the supplements for vitamin D. The next important factor is exercise. Well, of course, I'm not talking about running a marathon. Even simple weight-bearing and resistant exercises like walking, dancing, or lifting some light weights can boost your bone density. A recent study in UK showed that every person with osteoporosis might benefit from exercise and its benefits outweigh its risks. The third factor is having a balanced diet. It's not just about calcium and vitamin D. Vitamin K in leafy greens and magnesium in nuts and seeds are also very crucial. Alright, now let's look at some natural remedies that science has given a thumbs up to. First off, let's talk about curcumin. It is the thing that gives turmeric its yellow color. A recent systematic review, which was the result of 11 articles about curcumin and osteoporosis, reported that curcumin can help preventing osteoporosis and bone loss. You can get curcumin by adding turmeric to your daily dishes or take its supplements, which are added to our description. The next remedy is omega-3 fatty acids, which are found in fatty fish like salmon, flax seeds, and walnuts. Some of the previous studies showed that taking omega-3 fatty acids in your daily diet can increase the bone density. But what if you already developed osteoporosis? Is there any treatments? The answer is yes. There are a couple of medications that can slow down the osteoporosis progression. As always, I remind you guys that if you want to add or remove any medication or supplement, do discuss it with your doctor because they know better what works better for you. All right, guys, if you find this video helpful, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with your friends and hit that subscribe button. And while you're here, why not check out my other videos on fatty liver, high cholesterol, weight loss, and cataract. Let's continue this journey of health and wellness together. Until the next time, take care. Bye.